So actually this effect is fairly simple to do. It just takes a series of steps to make it happen. So I'm going to take my raw footage. I'm going to drop it in here and then I'm going to expand it so I can see it. Uh, I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to say make into a composite shot. Click OK. And so now I have my uh, raw footage where I basically turn, I take my glass off, I turn, I look at the camera, and then at some point the red glowing eyes happens. Let's say we just have it start here, okay? What I'm going to do is right click here and say slice that. So that way I have two pieces of media. The first is the first part of it, and then the second, I'm just going to rename the red eyes, okay? Because this is where it becomes, it's going to turn to the red eye. So this is where I actually need it. What I'm going to do is, is I'm going to track both of these eye positions. So that way I can place my effect on those eye positions. So I'm going to twirl open the tracks. I'm going to click the little plus icon. I'm going to rename this left eye because I'm going to track them both. So I'm going to start by tracking the left eye, my left eye, which is over here. I'm going to place this on the eye itself. And then I'm going to click uh, track it. And there it goes. It's just tracking that eye. OK. And then I'm going to do the same on the right eye. So I'm going to back up to the five second mark again. And then I'm going to click the plus icon and rename that new track right eye. So that way I have tracks on both of them. This time I'm going to put it over the right eye position and click track it and that'll track pretty easily. This is really pretty simple and this works very effectively. Shouldn't be that hard. Notice that I didn't blink. If I blinked, then that would create a problem. So I made sure I didn't blink when I filmed this. Uh, make sure that you're not blinking or your actor's not blinking either. That helps a lot. Okay, now what I need to do is I need to assign those, uh, that tracking data to a couple of points that will be uh, then parenting. So I'm gonna say new layer, point layer, and we'll start by creating a uh, right eye point and then also I'm going to uh, create a new layer point layer and let's call this left eye point uh, whoops let's make sure we spell left eye correctly that would help a lot uh, there we go okay now under the left eye track I'm going to say transform to the left eye point and apply it and then under the right eye track I'm going to say transform to the right eye point and apply it. So now if I were to grab both of those points, uh, you can see that those track with my eyes. So that'll be it. Okay, so now what I need to do is, is I need to create the eyes and the positions where those eyes are going to be. So what I need to do is I need to create a clean plate essentially for the eyes. So I'm gonna, on this frame, I'm gonna say options, export the frame, and I'm going to just call this clean plate eyes, okay? And then in that, I'm just going to drag it in here, okay? Just like that. So now I have my clean plate, my eyes, if you will. And I'm going to drag this down here above the footage. And I'm going to rename this one left eye. And then I'm going to drag it in again. And I'm going to rename it also right eye because... I'm going to have one for each. The right eye, I want to parent to the right eye. And the left eye, I want to parent to the left eye. And there you go. So now all I have to do is just mask out just the little eye sockets. We'll start on the right eye first, which is going to be here. I'm going to use my mouse wheel to kind of scroll in. And under the right eye, I'm going to use my freehand mask tool. And I'm just going to mask around where I want it to turn red, you see? Look at that. Okay, boom. And that's sort of a rough job, but it'll it'll do. Okay, and then under the left eye, I'm going to use my freehand mask tool, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to just mask out where I want that left eye to be, and I'm doing a rough job here, but you'll get the idea. It will it'll be okay. The good news is, is I'm going to feather this heavily. So, okay, under the left eye mask, I'm going to open up the shape properties and I'll feather it about 10 pixels. And under the right eye, I'll do the same thing, but I'll feather it about 10, oh, sorry, feather it about 10 pixels like that. All right, now I'm going to come up here and go to the hue, saturation, and lightness effect. I'm going to drag it onto the 
one I, and then I'm going to open that up, and under the red category, if I shift that lightness, you can see that that will change the color of that. So I'm going to start it. Uh, I'm going to keyframe it right now at five seconds, and then I'm going to move forward about 10 frames. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm just going to jack that up to about 15, maybe 20, something like that. Okay, then I'm going to copy that and bring it down into the left eye so it does the exact same thing. And they both sort of turn red. Now, can I change that and make it bigger? Yeah, absolutely. Can I make these smooth keyframes? You bet. I can do that too, right? Whatever my taste is, whatever my choice is, I can have them turn other colors too. But basically, that's it in a nutshell. So now we have, boom, and see how they kind of track with each other because they're parented towards those points. So that's pretty much how you do the glowing eyes effect. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. If you would like to keep up with the latest tutorial videos from HitFilm Sensei, consider liking the HitFilm Sensei Facebook page following the HitFilm Sensei Twitter feed, and subscribing to the HitFilm Sensei YouTube channel. The links are in the description below. A new video comes out every Friday, and thanks for your support.